name is Becky Fiddler here to go over another superficial muscle functions video with you. Again, I'll be going over the origin, insertion, functions, and exercises of a particular muscle. Again, I'll just go over one muscle. I won't be going over any more than one. Um, today, I'll be going over the tensor fasciae latte. Okay, um, now the origin of this particular muscle starts right on the anterior part of your iliac crest which is your hip bone okay so it starts on the front ridge on the top there on the iliac crest okay which is the edge and also starts on part of the ilium just below that crest okay and it actually inserts connecting into your iliotibial band or your IT band, okay? So that's about a fourth of the way down the leg, okay? So it starts up here on your iliac crest, and then it inserts down here a quarter of the way down your leg into the iliotibial band, and then that will run into down further your leg. But, like I said, we'll only be going over one muscle, so the tensor fasciae latte is what we're focusing on today. So since you know the origin and insertion of that muscle, now you need to know the functions of the muscle. So we're looking at, for functions, we have abduction of the hip, okay? You have lateral rotation of the hip, which is if you're just standing normal and you Rotate that up, and then it's the same for the other side, okay? Then you also have anterior pelvic tilt. So if you're standing and you rotate your hips forward, that is an anterior pelvic tilt, okay? We also have flexion of the hip, okay? We have flexion. And then we also have internal rotation of that hip while it's in flexion. So you're looking at possibly for walking or running, trying to get that center line, or if you're trying to walk on a line, okay? So now you know origin, insertion, and functions. Now we're down to just the exercises of this muscle. So exercises that you can do are simple. Um, you can do pretty much the functions for the exercises, okay? The two main exercises that I would do, and you do need to be careful with the muscles of the hip. Um, you can throw them off very easily. If one becomes overdeveloped than the other, you can have some hip tightness or problems. Uh, you can also, uh, you know, just have some complications in the hip if you if you have a couple muscles that are just too tight. So be sure if that you exercise these muscles that you stretch them out as well. Uh, so the exercises for this muscle, the tensor fasciae latte, would be simple. Uh, you can use a band if you are more advanced and you can wrap it around your legs more so down towards the knee and then just do abduction of the leg okay also you can attach uh, a band to something behind you and have it wrapped closer to your knee and you can work on flexion of the hip okay but again, like I said, if you're going to work this muscle, please stretch this muscle after you work it out so that your hip doesn't become too tight in this area. Uh, the tensor fasciae latte and the IT band are normally very, very painful to stretch out after you get them super tight. So if you don't stretch this muscle out, I suggest that you do that even if you don't plan on working this muscle out. But you must be careful like I said, with the muscles in the hips, because if they become too tight, 
you may have some imbalances or problems. So, I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed this video. So, have a nice training session everyone.